How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is the one way we review each and every single player apart from the SPC within the team. We did this for the era of the Foundation SP, well, objectives, not SPCs. And uh, you guys love this, so I'm going to bring it back with the Liga Portuguese or Liga Portugal. I don't think it's called Liga Nos anymore, I have no idea why. But uh, Liga Portugal, we're going to review each and every single player today. And as a twist, I'm going to go in... Uh, to the Foot Champs playoffs games. Now, I do worse in those ones than I actually do uh, anywhere else, to be honest, lads. So if you do enjoy this video, this guy in the concept, make sure you like the video. That would be uh, extremely nice of you guys, as you do see the players in the background as well. And make sure you drop a comment, because I want to know your thoughts on this man, Rafa Suarez, uh, Gonzalo, what's his second name? Gonzalo Inacio, Inacio, mate. I'm going to get my uh, lingo going today. And uh, Uribe and Rafa. Two easy ones for me right there. And of course, we do have this man, Bands in the squad. We're going to build the squad as well. Make sure you get your comments. Make sure you like the video. And let's get into the squad. So let's go through these players. Actually, we'll, we'll build the squad and then go through the players. So at the back, I mean, I've got to kind of keep it simple due to the players that we do have. So I think it's 81 rated. Is it 81 rated? Please be 81 rated. Otherwise, I've messed up money. Oh, there he is. There, uh, dude, that was him there. Vlachodimos, he's got a different name in game, so baffle me each and every time. He's got Vlachodimos in net, and I think you can kind of gather where we're going with this, because I think we've kind of got to keep it Liga Nos, right? So, Lucas Verasimo, he looks brilliant. I haven't actually used him on the game, so we've got Lucas Verasimo in there as well, just to kind of link the Liga Nos players together. And of course, we do have bands there, because he's extremely hard to link, he's got no strong links. Uh, of any notes within that division, apart from like French icons. So I really don't want to do that right now. At right back, we've got this guy. He was actually extinct not that long ago. Wilson Manatha. Now I think he's key, especially in this formation if you want to play it, because he links Rafa with the Portuguese link, and he also links Uribe with um, the club link as well, Porto. And of course, uh, you could get Luis Diaz, perfect link into him. I, I tried sniping him, boys. It it it's just not going to happen. And then here, yeah, because of the links to uh, Banzas difficult, we got to use the trusty Kaka again. Now, of course, I can go anyone here, Brazilian, Brazilian, and just uh, finish it off. But I want to try a couple of different players that I haven't used in a while. One being Bernardo Silva. We've got Liga Portugal. Why not bring a former Portuguese league player in? And he's Portuguese as well. So Bernardo Silva just makes sense. And then on the left-hand side, we bring a Portuguese man from the Premier League. Diogo Jota. Jota's brilliant on this game. I think it just worked really, really well. So this is the team that we have built. So we'll have a little look at the cards right now. Uh, this is just a brief summary of the cards. High, medium. I have used four games. That was in squad battles. Does not count in any way, way. Shape, mean, or form. High, medium. 5 for 10. Good height. Free star, free star. Doesn't matter. And of course, what does matter is that his preferred foot is the left, which is the side of defense that he's playing on. In terms of the stats, man. Dudes. Jumping could be an issue. How tall was he? 5'10"? Jumping should be good, man. I've used a Shadow Chem style because I want to get him at a max pace. I'm one of those guys, you know what I mean? Aggression is good enough, so I don't think I need a boost in strength. I kind of overlooked the jumping, though, so... Hey, we'll see if it's an issue in game. His dribble is phenomenal for a fullback, and he's passing his senses. Leaving his shot power is very, very nice. No traits on the guard. We'll see how he is in game. We got this man. Again, I used a Shadow on him, lads. Again, like physicality... How tall? 6'1? Yeah, it's, that's absolutely fine, man. Absolutely fine. 82 interceptions go to 92. Fantastic boost as well. Uh, Agility's not even that bad for a centre back. 70 is good enough. Uh, first touch, nice. Reaction's nice. Composure, decent. And the pace is decent. Um, two star, two star. Left foot. Medium, medium. And I do want, because of that left foot, to play him on the left hand side. As you move in midfields, Banzer's not playing me. It's just for chemistry. We got Uribe. Uribe? Uribe, Matthias Uribe, I can't see his name, hi hi worker, 6 foot, 4 star, we put 3 star skills, and I've used an anchor on him, and you might be wondering, why haven't you used, probably engine, right, you guys might be asking why I haven't used engine or shadow, uh, engine would increase him if I'm using him as a, a kind of box to box, but today he's going to sit in the, the free man midfields, but he's going to be as a box to box in that role, so I kind of want him as a defensive box to box, if that does make sense. So I've increased his um, acceleration, sprint speed, all his defensive stats, and even his aggression, strength, and jumping as well. Play traits, outside of foot shot, very nice. 
uh, as a, like a, a like an objective goods, this looks like one of the best all rounders to be honest. And then of course we do have a Ratha. I've got I put a Maestro Chem style on him because I don't know. I, I have no idea why I put a Maestro Chem style on him. Because finishing is quite low. Should I put a finisher on him? I'll tell you what, we'll try him with Maestro in the first game, then put finisher if it doesn't feel good in game. High medium, four star skills, three star weak foot's a bit of a downside, and uh, five foot seven soul. Again, he's going to be so quick, isn't he? You look at the pace acceleration combo 95, 94, acceleration sprint speed, 96 pace as well. This guy's going to be phenomenal. I hope so, anyways, because I expect this guy to be so responsive. Just looking at those stats. 90 ball control, 90 dribbling as well. Oh, dude, he should be fantastic. The only downside is that, that strength and aggression, man, is really, really low. Traits, he's also got outside the foot shorts, which actually benefits him as well, right? Yeah, free star weak foot actually does benefit him from that side. So what I'm going to do now is, ah, oh, dude, foot champs playoffs for me suck, but I'm, I'm going to jump into it anyway. My tactics for the day, boys. Uh, I made this the other day, and it's just been working for me. 4-3-2-1 with these uh, instructions on. I just, uh, I increased the width for the attacker by miles. Because I want them to kind of spread apart, you know what I'm saying? This is what it looks like in game. Rafa, Banta, Jota on the attack. Bernardo Silva, Kaka. It's more the attacking box to boxes. And Urebi as the defensive box to box. Again, I want them to, to tackle and defend. Well, they're in defense. Uh, as for the like uh, instructions on the players we've got anyways. Stay forward on Rafa. Urebi will be stay back of the center, but naturally they'll just get forward sometimes anyways. Uh, I mean, he's a centre-back. And on the full-back, we have stay back and overlap. But what we're going to do now is jump into some games, have some fun, and hopefully not sweat my arse off, lads. Let's get into game number one. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Playoffs for the foot champions. A very nice... That's a Ben Yedder at CDM. He better be changing the game. Otherwise, I'll have a problem with this lad. Oh, that left-back came out of position. I got fortunate there, boys. Here's Rafa Suarez. Rafa. Can I get a double tap back to him? No is the answer. I like how he got back in a position. Let's see if I can win the tackle though. Oh wow. Who's that? Dembele as well? Ah! I, I, I definitely did not mean to pass him. <laughs> Wait, that was not offside. I, I definitely didn't mean to pass him the ball like. Ref! I think Ignacio saved him there, boys. I was literally pressing, pressing. I can't even say which. I was pressing every single button that was on the controller right there. Oh, 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 I won the ball. Right, here goes Banza. Banza's got to score this, mate. Power. Where the hell did he come for? Got a pass inside. Bernardo Silva gets in. Good ball as well, you know. See we got Rafa Wise. Oh, what a first touch. Stand up, mate. Tap him. Ah, oh, he's free on that side. I've dragged the left back far too far out. Right, Silva just stand. Dude, recovery again, though. Good pass as well. Jota switched that. Sabotage again from Jota. Never. Actually, stuck to the one-two this time. Oh, what a ball that is! Lovely pass, that. Kaká. Oh! 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 Wait! Is your baby's name in game, Matthews? So, he's, he's been doing things now, I haven't even realised it's him. Because position-wise, Matthews has been brilliant, but your I've never seen him once. Yes, Matthews! Bouncer! Fix shot. Oh! Oh. Bernardo? I don't know where the ball is, guys, to be honest. Bellissimo. That is bellissimo. Might have Banzer in. Hold up. Banzer, better than him. I agree. Stands up to Rafa. Oh, he's, too, he's like two foot tall, man. What am I doing? That, he, I annoy myself sometimes, man. Oh, Ben Yedder is a striker. Big chance by Inacio. Do you reckon I've got the pace to get there ahead of regular? See you later, Paul. Right, cross it. By the dude, why is Bernardo Silva backing off? That was such an accurate cross. Uribe on Matthias has won it back. Bernardo. Bernardo doesn't have the fight in him, boys. He's not even going up for headers. Dembele again. Left back. I, I, honestly, I was watching him most of the time as well. Inacio in the centre. That positioning from him is utterly sensational. Because normally defenders, they don't cut that passing lane off. So that is like top notch by him. I wonder if he's gonna play him like more to the right, but he's actually coming down the left. Left back is not. Oh, that wasn't a good pass. You read me, please. Recover, dude. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was utterly gorgeous, man. Again, honestly, positioning from that center back, crazy. 
Oh, Raby read that like a book, mate. Good pass as well. Will he pass? This left back studies ground. Ref! Dude, oh my god, the recovery there. Even when I shouted ref, I knew it was my fault because I, I pressed too hard and... Oh, bollocks. And I uh, got out of position. But wow, what a recovery, dude. Rafa? Rafa, I, I think he's going to read that. Shoot! For inch... For literally a second there, I thought that was top ins. That's the pass of the bloody century, dude. So is that. So is that. You're taking the pace. Oh, big chance. Rafa, a cross keeper. Maybe I'll win that. Rafa, chip it or something. Ref, that's a punch. That should have been a pen. I told you, he's going to be very weak, Rafa, though, isn't he? And, like, he really was there. Like, so weak, he just got pushed off the ball. I didn't even have a say in it, to be honest. Ooh, that first time pass, though. Ah, oh, bellissimo. He fuck. That went through his bloody legs. You're taking the piss here. That's a goal as well. Oh, no, Solskjaer scored it. That's... Stop celebrating, man. You've just been sacked. Oh, dude, that's too stocky. Pass! That's a pin! That's a great pass, by the way. And that's just taking the piss, to be honest. Can we get in the next match now? Next up, by the way, House... He's playing a five back. This is ridiculous, man. By the way, how spot on was there about the, the stamina? Of, um... Dude, I forgot his name already. The striker, Banza? Uh, how, how spot on was it with the stamina? I, I literally said in the review, we got an extra time. It, 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 it's going to be like playing with 10 men. Banza. It's Banza. But, um... And it was. We missed a chance later on because Banza's stamina. Chance. Oh, nearly a chance. Great defending. And that's from the centre back as well. Now, Rafa's in. Oh, the boy, son! You know the thing, the, the reason I think I'm playing like so lackadaisical, I think that's, that's a brilliant word, by the way, is because I've been playing squad battles, mate. It literally melts your brain. I can't think anymore. Ah, dude, why didn't you just turn into the flash? Oh, dude. I'm reading this stuff and I, I just can't stop it. And he scores. New Ruby's won it. He's, oh, dude, he slowed the game down. He's went 1 0 up and slowed the game down, dude. With five at the back. That's mine. <laughs> I just want to have some fun, dude. Double Jota. Chest. Volley, son. So many defenders, man. It's just, it's just frustrating. Man. Rafa, it's, it's, it's just you, mate. Rafa! Oh, he's just walking. I, I'm telling you, dude. It's crazy how rewarding it rewards defenders on this game. Read that. Passed it to him. Nice. Oh, God. Foden's away. See what I mean, man? He's, he's defending a random attack. You know. And that is four. Unbelievable scenes. Right, so there we have it, lads. I've got an uphill struggle to qualify now. That's fantastic. So we'll lose our first two games of, uh, what is it? Qualification? Playoffs? I don't know, boys. Um, how are these players here? The thing is, I never knew his name was Matthias in game. Eurebi's brilliant. He's good in that position. Uh, he's, he's a box-to-box, -box, there's no doubt about that. He's not just CDM, he's not just attacking, he's a box-to-box and nothing but. Rafa was a bit disappointed. Now, you're going to see he starts with 0-0 zero, because zero, he didn't even score a goal today. But certain chances I had with this card, I had an easy volley chance, which normally would have, like, went close to the target. Post, keeper, whatever. It went miles wide. Literally, I might as well not even hit the ball. Uh, so, shooting is an issue. I used a marksman or a maestro, sorry. I probably... Sh Next time I'll try to finish it. Next time I'll try to finish it. But would that even make much of a difference to what that already is? Um, I'm not too certain, man. I'm not too certain. Overall, I was disappointed with how I played, but I was disappointed with some of the players as well. Like, this guy feels super responsive, very quick, very tight dribble, great ball control. He is so weak, it's ridiculous, man. I think there were certain moments where even trying to run past the player to get the ball, it's impossible. The second you even go near the player, he starts stumbling. And I think you would have noticed that as well. When you hit the player, he starts to stumble. Basically, he's been tackled off the ball, but he, he hasn't been tackled. It's just he's sat weak, he's bumped into someone, and it's triggered the tackle animation. Well, after being tackled. And it's just... It's not good. That's not good. If you've got any player like that in the game, that's just not good in general. So I was 
I was quite disappointed by this raffle, to be honest, boys. I think if I went for a value for time... Uh, by the way, I, I, dude, all these cards are value for time. The, the, the free cards at the end of the day, it's just the time that you want to put into the game to achieve them. That's why I had NA in the last one, and I'm actually going to stick with that as well. Uh, we'll go through enjoyments. He had these moments where it was a spark from time to time. But overall, I wasn't too enthralled by the card, to be honest. I'd probably do like a, an 8 for enjoyments. And uh, the overall rating from those games anyways, probably like a 7.8, 7.7. It just wasn't clinical enough for me at times. And um, dude, he's so weak. He is so weak, boy. So, hey, that's what Rafa's going to get, of course. If you used him, please let me know. I'm going to use him way more than this, by the way. I think this is my first two games of Rafa as well, it was. But uh, with everyone else, it's just been um, squad battles anyways. Eurabian. I like what he had to offer the team. I really like what I had to offer the team. Um, because he's, he's, um, he's like, um, what's those things in Angel Rooms? What is it? Who keeps a, a boiler man? He's like a boiler man. He keeps the engine, like, ticking over me. He's putting coal. That, that, that's how old I am, man. Well, I wasn't around for coal trains. Don't get it twisted or anything like that. But he's like one of those people, if, if you see in the cartoons or anything like that, you know when they shovel in the coal to make the train go faster? This is, this is him. Why? Because he's that man in the engine room, man. Keeps things ticking over. He wins the ball back. He is the transition between defense and attack. He is the box to box. And he is one of the better ones, man. He's one of the better ones. I played him in a deeper role today. He's still shone from time to time. Yes, he make mistakes. Yes, I didn't notice it was him until halftime in the first match. Because in game, his name is Mataus. I think, wait. Doesn't it have an H in, in, in game as well. Uh, anyways, it's Mataus in game, so I didn't even notice it was Eurabia at times. But uh, yeah, he's, he's one of those players that will be always in your opponent's face. Like work rate wise, high high, he's going to be up and down anyways. And then with the aggression, strength, etc., etc., he's going to be in your opponent's face all the time. And I've got to say, I like this card. He didn't disappoint. Uh, I mean, it's nothing he could have done in that last match anyways, because my defender, well, my opponent was sitting so deep that he was naturally pushing forwards, like a midfielder would. And then when I got counterattacked, when he obviously won the ball back, when the ball just hit him when I had a shot, uh, he was out of position. And that's not Eurabi's fault. That's not my opponent's fault. It's the game's fault for allowing that to be effective on the game. He sat everyone in the penalty box, Eurabia's naturally going to get forward over time. He's not going to just stay in the CDM position or the CM position. He's going to push into the area. And when he does, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm counterattacked. I'm done for, you know what I'm saying? But uh, overall, I think this guy is really effective in game. I'm going to give an 8.6 overall rating. Again, value for uh, uh, coins or time, whatever you want to say, NA. It's not applicable because I, I truly believe each and every single one of objectives on this game is worth the time if you want to get more out of the game. And uh, as for the enjoyments, Based on the date, it would be an 8.0. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with that as well. So that was his overall rating. That was his enjoyment. And I think he's definitely one of the better ones that you want to do. And he's the one, by the way, that you do from a separate one. So that's in friendlies. He's very, very easy to get as well. I uh, will move on to centre-back. Ignacio was decent. Ignacio was decent, you know. Um, I liked him in game. I did like him in game. He didn't do anything spectacular. He did everything by the book. And what I mean by that is he defended, defended, and nothing but defended. But that's a centre-back. You want that for him, man. The thing is, positioning-wise, I haven't really seen that from a centre-back on this game. Where he covers the passing lane from the left-back to the centre-back. That kind of pass that normally comes off the through ball. He covers it every single time. That is his go-to move where he gets in a position to intercept the ball in that position. I love that. I love that because he's shown great positional awareness and... If they can cut out the through ball in this game, hey, uh, that, that saves you a job because everybody on this game is through ball and especially over tops right now, which pretty much are undefendable from time to time. So Ignacio, Consolo Ignacio, I mean, he's six foot one, decent jumper, not fantastic, but uh, a good centre back in general, a decent centre back. So overall rating for him, probably an 8.0. Enjoyments, probably 7.6. He gets the job done, but he's a centre back. He, he, he's not going to rainbow flick and volley in from 80 yards into the back of the net. Unless it was like FIFA 9. Was that possible on FIFA 9? There was, there was one game where you could literally score from the halfway line every kickoff. And I forgot which game it is. I, I can't remember. So that is what he will get. Oh, this man was good, man. This Rafa Suarez. 
I always forgot his name. I ended up just calling him left back. And left back was good. Left back was good. Arguably, he could, is that a fly? It's these lights, man, I've got the window open. Um, this left back, oh, does he rival Uribe? I think he could be the best one. Like, generally, for a left back, as far as left back goes, he did his job. He's quick. He is aggressive in the challenge. His tackling's very good. On the ball, he's decent as well. His passing's good. And even if he did have the chance, he just hit it with 92 shot power. It's fantastic. No traits or anything like that. But as far as a fullback goes, utterly unbelievable at times. I think he's the best one. You're really good. The rest of them's good as well. I think Rafa Suarez is the best one. I mean, I've just come to that realisation now. Even in game, you would have noticed as well, he was more prevalent than any other player in this team, which uh, it goes to say a lot for me getting attacked on left-hand side, but fantastic, man. I'm going to give him a rating of an 8.8. 8.8 for Rafa Suarez. And as far as enjoyment goes, probably an 8.6 as well. Utterly brilliant fullback, who if you do make a mistake, he's got the agility recover, and he's got the pace to recover as well. I'm guessing the back of the position very well. The only issue with him... Actually, it's not even much of an issue. It is chemistry. It is chemistry. But if you think about the Portuguese player in this game, even like some of the players I've got in this squad, Jota, Bernardo Silva, uh, this man, um, Ignacio. If you want to put Ignacio in there, put Ignacio in there. You also got Pepe, who I'm, I'm going to guess is going to get a another card at some point this year, like a special card, because even his normal card's very good, the Pepe. But uh, Ronaldo Sanchez for the midfield, so you got Ruben Diaz. Over time, you'll get it. He, he'll be the best Portuguese left back, right? Because surely, like if you've got a concept, right, and go Portugal, is there any better left backs? Oh, balls, I forgot about Cancelo. Oh, wow, I forgot about Cancelo, mate. Dude, even if you like compare the two, He's got, like, apart from dribbling and passing, he's better than Cancelo in every single category. He's got better pace, he's got the exact same shooting, less passing, less dribbling, better defending, and way better physicals as well. Dude, for, like, for, like a free card, watch, watch, watch. For a free card, that is unbelievable, right? Because if I've got this Cancelo, and you want to buy him off the market or something like that, right? How much is he? How much is this Cancelo, boys? What's wrong with this market? He's 60k? It's a bloody bargain, mate. 87 in form. This game is tapped. This game is tapped. But that's just going to be it for the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm enjoying doing these live, live videos in general. It makes me enjoy the game a little bit more. Obviously, that last game was super frustrating. And it will get frustrating. Because you're wanting to play FIFA... I get someone that's just wanting to win. I just want to have enjoyment with uh, the players. And uh, I had to break a barrier down to even attempt the score. And it, it gets frustrating. It does get frustrating. But hey, hey all, all the power to you. That's the way you play the game. It's the way you play the game. Lads, I enjoy making these videos. If you guys do want to see more, make sure you let us know in the comments. Leave a like on the video. Get amongst the discussion. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more. The video went down really well last time. If we can keep it up on this video... Dude, should I set light targets? I think I should set light targets on these videos. Wait there, boys. Wait, hold. Hold. Check what you did in the last video. So it's 350 on the last video it's currently at now. Can we get 500 likes on this one? I'm going to say you a title, man. 500 likes. Let's see if you can smash it, boys. Thank you very much for all the support recently. Like, comment, 500. 500, not comments, likes. But get amongst the discussion as well. Lads, we'll catch you in the next video.